everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. They're scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. Teddy, I've heard you say so many times when, when you talk about in and out, in upper and body and head movement defensively is, hey, don't worry about missing by this much. Just miss by a little bit. Yeah, that's being a real pro. If you make a miss by too much, by the time you come back to get the other end of it, he's not there. You're not going to catch him. You want to make a miss just enough. It's just as safe whether you make a miss by a mile or by an inch. But if you make a miss by an inch, you can come back and count him. That's a well-scored left hand by the professional. Here's a moment here as you see the step-back counterpunch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Really on the mark with that overhand left. Fighting, snapping shot by the professional. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Defense easily turns into offense. Blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. Good looking counter punch. The professional's able to avoid that punch. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by the professional. Last 10 seconds. Man, that's it, man. Good job. Good job. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down, blue or red corner, what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Real close. I mean, real close. underway and he ties up on the inside and there he is scoring with the right hand the professional showing you a little defensive skill there and they'll move away from that punch Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Solid right by the professional. Unable to score with the hook. Commits to the straight right. Parries that punch intended for the head. Oh, how about that? back with a power punch of his own. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. <laughs> he gets off with a combination up top. There's a good right hand. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Throws a counter punch there. Get away from the corner. Not much action as he just ties up. Blocks that low and then a counter uppercut. <laughs> the 
the professionals probably feeling like he just found the answer there, Teddy. He was able to stun his man. Exactly like now, this. I'm wondering if he keeps at it like that, if he can score a knockdown here. Well, right now, it's up to his opponent to make an adjustment. He doesn't make an adjustment, knockout's coming, or at least a knockdown. Start of a fresh round, but I'll tell you this, Teddy. I don't know that we're going to see the end of this round, the way he was damaged. No, I would be surprised. I don't know that he could continue or that the referee would allow him to. How about that exchange? Get some of that too. Now, come on, let's go. Now, there's the jab. The professional scoring with that right hand. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. The professionals landed a good, solid combination. He just missed that shot up top. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. You know, that jab is so basic, so simple, but as you can see, so very effective for him early on in this fight. Yeah, well, he's telling his opponent, you're not coming onto my property. You know, I have a dog here, and this dog bites. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by the professional. Keep working the body. Ten clicks of the talk. Standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. Round number four underway. A chance to look at Teddy's scorecards. What a left hand. I need to see his head. Goes right back with a big blow up top. The professional's coming up big here early on in the fight because he just showed his opponent, hey, listen, you got to be careful. I can counter punch you. No better way to slow down your opponent. You know, we know the other way you slow him down. You hit him right on the... Please, please. What a great round this has turned into. Oh. Solid. Oh, right to the gut, and right to the ground he goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. The professional's punch didn't come close. Return to sender, he gives him back one of his own. Upstairs. Good looking two punch combination there. Body shot, the left hand. The professional still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Nice work with the uppercut. 
Solid left hand. Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet, but the kind of round that gets a corner man anxious. What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back-and-forth brawl like that? Move your head. Keep your hands up. You know, don't get caught with those shots. He worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing, you got to give a little confidence. Remind them, hey, we trained for a tough fight. You're ready for this. The professionals gets a chance at redemption here with a fresh round. But, Teddy, I'm always concerned as to how a fighter looks after he's been knocked down in the last round. Well, it depends how much experience he has. And he has enough experience to handle this, to kind of shake it off, get himself together, and move forward. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. And he just holds on there. The professional's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. He brings it right back. Big shot upstairs. Right back at you. Counter power punch. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Comes with the right. Punches and bunches. Combination up top. Super two-punch combo by the professional. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Let's see if he can build on the momentum he just created for himself. That knockdown did a lot. Yeah, well, he's an experienced guy, so he understands that he still can control things. Also, not only the experience, but the confidence that comes with experience. He knows this is over when he wants it to be over. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Good job protecting himself. The professional's doing well here with that two-punch combination. He just gave his opponent a really good taste of how fast his hand speed is. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we talk about power, and we see that power, you know, can damage a guy right away, obviously, and it can intimidate an opponent. But hand speed can do the same thing. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. The professional's combination punching is working well here. He didn't see that left hand, and it got to him badly. He should really tie up now. Now he's just walking him back a bit there, up against the rope. And bang, and away he goes. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in. He did get it. He got it. Come on, baby. The professional's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Blocking a score. The professional's proving to be elusive. Good return fire that time. 
The professional's really doing a fine job here, Teddy. And I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching. But you can make an argument that he's big shot. The left crashed home. We come to the end of this round. And all you have to do is take a quick look at him to be able to say, boy, he's not in good shape. Now, Teddy, is it more important to handle the physical detriments and the damage that's been done to him or to pump him up mentally here at this point? No, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be realistic. And most important, your greatest responsibility is to help the welfare of your fighter. Right now, he's taking so much punishment. You have to be thinking about stopping this fight. Committing upstairs now, he goes there again. Good snapping jab. That's what you need to get inside. Hey, Joe, you're going to rob a bank. You need a smoke screen so the guards don't see you coming. You want to get inside? Use a jab. He missed with that headshot. Oh! And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? the fight the professionals hand to be raised in victory he scores the knockout here tonight By the way of your winner, the what you want to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight and that's what his trainer wanted his trainer was even telling him step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore that does it ringside we'll see you next time at the fights